What's going on, Guardians? It's Corbin here. We're ready for the next step in Shattered Throne, which is the Ogre Fight. We'll also be doing the run up to Dolinkaru. For my super, I'm still using the Middle Tree Voidwalker, the Noble Warp, with Izanami's Burden, Subtle Calamity, and I'm using the Hammerhead as my heavy. If you don't have Izanami's Burden, I would suggest an auto rifle or anything that fires fast, unless you're comfortable with the sniper rifle. And we're also still using Luna Faction boots. So let's go ahead and get started. So I pretty much stay right here. It's right off to the right. It's that first pillar. You can use it as cover from that first wizard and from the wizard behind you. The ogre also can't spot you in this location. As you can see, make sure you look in front and behind you. You can't throw down a rift, but just begin clearing out the ads. I would definitely focus on the vandals, as they're the snipers, and they do the most damage next to the wizards. Now it's important to just do damage to the wizards, but not kill them, because you want to clear all the ads that are to your right and the ones that are far side from you. Now I didn't point out in the build that I'm wearing, but I do have three Transcendent Blessings on. I would highly recommend using Transcendent Blessings. There is quite a difference in damage. Go ahead and keep taking out the eggs. You do have to watch out for this wizard. It can get a bit aggressive, but I found that if you pop a shield, it does run off scared. As you can see, you can fall back to that structure as well. It blocks you from the ogre and sets up shots on that back wizard. So the goal is to just kind of do damage to the wizards. This one right here, you want to take it to low health, but not kill it. Once you've cleared out the adds and you feel comfortable with the health of the wizard behind you, go ahead and take out the one that's right here in front. Once you take it out, push up and grab that buff immediately. It does despawn. Switch to your heavy and then push around this side. You can use that pillar to hide from the ogre and then just melt that wizard. Pick up its buff and then run straight to the back. Once you get to about this point, that's when I use my super. And I clear out all the adds that are in the back. Once you have them all cleared out, go ahead and use this structure to hide. Now when you look across, you can see that wizard that we were damaging earlier is all that's left. Take him out, and then pick up that buff. If you need any ammo, go ahead and run around and pick some up. Just be aware that the first wizard you killed, all of its adds have respawned. So you go ahead and slam it in, and then you put down your rift, and you just begin dealing damage to the boss. Make sure you shoot all of those balls. If three of them is enough to kill you. That's why I suggest maybe an auto rifle or a pulse if you're not comfortable with the sniper. Then once it's immune again, just push back to that first area. This is that pillar to the right of where we drop in. Just begin clearing the ads. As you can see, we did just over a third of damage. If 
if you do have your bow drawn and you don't wish to fire, if you sprint, you do put the arrow down. Once you pop its shield, you see that it does retreat. I definitely recommend taking out all the goblins, as it does make the wizard immune. If you have some vandals left up, they are easier to handle when you get up close. Now that you've taken it out, just continue what we did the first time. Before going to kill the wizards, do make sure you have your super. You don't want to go to the back of the room just to find out that you didn't have your super. And once again, we get to that back pillar. Or this time I was able to push a little more forward and just use your super. As you can see, that time I didn't utilize my super to take out the wizard. That's just fine, just switch to your heavy and make sure you take it out as quickly as you can. Once you pick up the buff, just go ahead and hide behind this wall again. As you can see, it does provide perfect cover from the ogre. Once you pick up that buff, just move to the next pillar. Take the second to reload everything before slamming in the next charge. Put down your rift immediately. Focus fire on the little balls. Now if you chose to use Whisper of the Worm, when you shoot those, they do count towards the white nail perk. Now it's more ideal to have moved before that point to make sure you get back to our safe space. Now on this row, I didn't do this, but I would suggest turn around and run the other way. So you would just get this one weak, and then focus on this one, kill this one, and then begin to move forward using heavy on that backside, and your super on the one that's across from us. And again, you see once you pop its shield, it does go and hide. I definitely don't recommend doing that. I pushed out too far and I overextended the play. If it wasn't for the fact that I had my healing rift, I definitely would have died there.
Now that we have our super, we're just pushing back across and continuing what we've done the first two times. Then we pick up the buff, and that's when I realized I cleared the wrong side first. So now we just have to push around through the back again. Do make sure to use all the covers possible. If you go all the way around, as you can see the ovary is pushing me. You get to this last pillar, let your health regenerate, then you jump up and slam in the last charge. Now that it's slammed in, just shoot those balls, drop your healing rift, and begin firing on the boss. Serve your heavy if you think you're going to need to go another round. Once I saw its health was so low, I decided I wanted to just try to finish it off. I did get lucky again, and I killed it with the very last bullet. But that's how we defeat the ogre. And now I just switch to what I think I would want to use for Dolan Karu. I would definitely recommend something that does solar damage. A lot of the shielded enemies on our way up have a solar over shield. So I'm using DFA, Inaugural Address, and I switch to Whisper of the Worm. Whisper is going to be the best bet to face Dolan Karu. And just begin jumping down. Do be careful if you run out of jumps, you can die from falling. Then you'll just want to clear out these four wizards. As you can see in this room, there are a bunch of acolytes, and there is also one yellow bar enemy. And then just begin to slowly work your way up the stairs. I'm not too sure why my rift didn't drop there, but it didn't, so I just dropped back and I dropped it again. And then for this section, you do want to stay back. There are a few failings there that can push you off the edge. Do be mindful that the goblins also have the large minotaur type weapons. Now in this next spot, there will be two captains. The captains that are in this whole area going up to Delvinkaru are the melee kind. So they tend to hide around the corners.
And then do be mindful of all of the vandals that are in this room because they can snipe, so they stay a little further back. I would definitely recommend taking them all out before trying to go up the lift. And then you just keep working your way forward. As you can see, there are still more captains. And as you can see, that's a perfect example as to why they're my least liked enemies. Because they can just keep throwing them at you. So I just dropped a healing rift, and I waited for them to peek the corners. And you can actually jump over them. As you can see, that door jam actually does block the blast as well. Wish I had noticed that sooner. Alright, for this next area, you just want to not get caught in this door frame. So just jump over the throw. And then when you turn right here, be very mindful of all these failings. They did boot me off the edge, and I was unable to save myself. Once you take them all out, you push across, and be mindful that there are a few goblins. There's also one hiding in this corner here. It catches me off guard every time. And then just make your way across these boopers at whatever pace you feel comfortable with. With a warlock, you can jump over most of them, but not all of them. Then this is the last goblin between you and Dalton Carl. Now we just make our way up the lifts to our final encounter of Shattered Throne and to face Dull and Karu. That's how you solo the Ogre and the path up to Dull and Karu.